Hi, I'm Amanda Haas, and I'm a professional cook and founder of One Family, One Meal. And today, along with Pottery Barn Kids, I'm so excited to be showing you one of my favorite ideas for a kid's birthday party. I'm actually making cake pops, which are these great little pieces of cake on lollipop sticks, and we're going to turn it into the very hungry caterpillar. So let me show you how I do this. I start with one regular size 13 by 9 inch cake. And you know what? Actually, it's fine if you want to use cake mix for this. There's some great cake mixes on the market now that are organic and even gluten-free. And uh, I like the consistency of it. And you know that the yield is the right amount for the recipe. So I just use one box of cake mix, and then I'm going to mix it with a half a cup of frosting. You can use up to three quarters of a cup if you need, but the frosting is really just going to bind it to the cake and allow us to shape it into something and put it on the individual popsicle sticks. I've got a great homemade cream cheese frosting that I like a lot that's on the website, um, but you can certainly use store-bought frosting if you prefer for this as well. And again, you just kind of need to mix it around with a spoon, kind of break it up in here with the crumbs. I don't know who thought up this idea, but it's so clever because if you've got younger children, it's really nice to just be able to offer each child one cake pop. So if you're doing this for a very young child's birthday party, they still get something really fun, but it's not a huge cupcake or a big piece of cake. So can you see how when I grab this now, it sticks together with my fingers? That's all you're looking for. You just need it to be sticky enough to be able to shape it. So I'm actually going to put this in the refrigerator for a couple hours to let it set a little bit, and then we'll roll it into the balls to make the Very Hungry Caterpillar. So now they're done chilling, and I'm ready to shape them to make my cake pops. Now I'm actually using a small ice cream scoop and a large ice cream scoop, but if you don't have one, you could certainly just use your hands or use two spoons. I'm just kind of aiming for the size of golf balls for the body of the caterpillar. Then the head will be a little bit bigger. And again, these do not need to be perfect. I think that is good enough. And of course, depending on how big you want your caterpillar to be, you can make more. I'm just gonna make about six small ones for a small group, and then the one large one for the head. Once you get the hang of making these, you could do them in so many different themes or different variations for different times of year. Like I've seen them for Valentine's Day and they're darling, or you could even do brownies and just dip them in dark chocolate on the outside. Wouldn't that be fun? And again, the colder it is, the easier it is to shape. So if you have any chance at all to keep them in the freezer or the fridge before you start rolling, it helps a ton. It's great. And then let me work on the caterpillar's head. I'm gonna make two of these just in case one doesn't work. And then if it's at all possible, I like to put these back in the freezer for about 30 minutes. It will make it so much easier for you to put the popsicle stick in it and for it to hold its shape. Um, and then if you have a chance, keep them in the refrigerator after that for about two to three hours. All right, let's chill them and then we'll be ready to put on the candy melts. So this is the really fun part where you get to assemble them to look like the very hungry caterpillar. Here's a great trick. I've actually melted these candy melts in the microwave and you can just melt them for 30 second intervals and give them a stir until they're melted. And I really like these because they hold their consistency and you can find them in any typical craft shop and at most grocery stores. So I got the green ones for the caterpillar and then I've got the red one for the caterpillar's head. And I'm just going to take a lollipop stick, which I also found at the craft store, and stick it right in the bottom. You don't have to put it all the way in, but this will help It'll kind of like glue it together. And I'm just going to put it about halfway into the cake. Now I'll use that same candy melt mixture to coat it to make the first part of our caterpillar. Again, these certainly don't have to be perfect. Like you could use a pastry brush if you wanted to make it really evenly coated. But all I'm going to do is tap it. Tap my hand with my other hand and it's going to kind of force the excess frosting to come off. Then they're more evenly coated. This one's a little bit heavy, so watch me. See, they don't have to be perfect. We'll just turn it. You can use my spoon. And then just pull off any excess with your spoon like that. Okay, so there's the first one. And on the body of the caterpillar, we're going to make a couple sprinkles on each one just to add some color. And then we're gonna pop this into some green styrofoam and you can see how the caterpillar will start to take its form. So cute. So there's the first one. Let's make another. It's about halfway through the base. 
takes a little bit of practice to get the coating on really well. But I just like to use a spoon for it and give it a twist. Just think about how many people are going to be at your party. For older children, I would probably do two per child. And for the younger ones, just one is fine. Let's do a different level there. Now let me show you how to make the head. Because it's larger, I actually like to use three sticks that I've taped together. I'm just gonna put them in the red candy melt. So I'm gonna dip a little bit of that on the end and then stabilize this larger one. And then again, just coat it in the red candy melt. This is easy, you just get used to twisting it actually in the spoon. But on this one, I'm not going to use sprinkles because we're actually going to decorate the face to look like the caterpillar's face. So now let me just put the red one in the styrofoam to dry. Perfect. And we're almost finished. So now I'm going to decorate the head of the very hungry caterpillar. So I have my red cake pop, and you'll see this come together, it's so fun. I'm actually just using more of the red candy melt, like glue, for the eyeballs to stick to. And I use these little black and white candy eyeballs, but you can also buy like fruit leather that's green and yellow that you can find at most grocery stores and cut it out if you really want to. And you could do the green with the yellow eyes like the Very Hungry Caterpillar. So I'm just gonna put these two on. And then for the antenna, I found these great fruit sour strips at the grocery store and I just skewered them onto toothpicks and I'll stick them right into the head. And I don't do them completely evenly because I think it looks fun for them to be a little lopsided. It makes it look a little more real. So cute. And then for the mouth, I'm just going to take a little bit of the green candy melt and make a little oval and just dip it right on there. And then I'll put it at the front of my caterpillar. This is just so fun. So there you have it. And you're ready to go. What a great idea for a birthday party. For more fun, entertaining ideas like this, you can visit PotteryBarnKids.com and my website, OneFamilyOneMeal.com.